That's good. That's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's good evil there. I hope you're happy, evil Jesus. I've done your bidding. <laughs> I am, Justin. <laughs> good job, Justin. I'm proud of you again. Yeah. <laughs> so, how else does the dog get there? All right, we've had a lot of fun here. I'm up here turning wine into clamato. <laughs> <laughs> Walk on water? No, I walked on your mom's rug. <laughs> the <laughs> one that's just for guests. For desert guests, and I wore my shoes. <laughs> I'm I found, petty evil Jesus. I found Lazarus, and I killed him. <laughs> Some of the miracles of evil Jesus. Sure. <laughs> we would, oh, to be fair, killing someone isn't really a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> That's easy. They gave me five fish and three loaves of bread, and I scrummed down on that shit. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Okay. <laughs> Listen, we all went to Southern Baptist Church for a long time. We can list out all the miracles. <laughs> Don't mean to brag. Should we go to the money zone? I forget how to get there, Griffin. Sure. It's just yeah, the second. Yeah. Okay, well, well, we'll do your thing. Oh, I was going to do like a song. second star on the right no, and fly straight till. No, keep going. My... It's, right. my favorite, it's one of my favorite stick songs. Show me the way. Bum, bum. Show me the Oh, you know what? You know why I know that song by heart is because one time at Christian camp, we had to choreograph a song to it about Jesus. Oh, oh really? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> It was a pantomime to that Sticks' show me the way, except there was a Jesus, and they... There got, was a Jesus. <laughs> and, I, and they seemed very proud of themselves for using <laughs> secular music. Like, uh, you know, like you kids like Sticks. Oh, was track. this like the guy who did the Weird Al-style parody of Walking in Memphis, but Walking with Jesus? Walking with Jesus. I don't think Weird Al works <laughs> with that particular palette. I don't think that's a color that he paints with. Did we already talk about walking walking with Jesus? Definitely it, no. It had the worst, the worst perversion, like the worst parody perversion of a line I've ever heard in my entire life. I guess parody is not technically accurate, but anyway, repurposed secular music for Christianity's purposes. This cat put in this lyric. She said, "Son, are you a Christian child?" And I said, "Ma'am, I am for life." Can you not? Can we don't you not need to. ruin one of the best? fucking lines in any song with that like that's please listen to this i got i solved the problem good news guys i solved the problem when you get close to the person and you're staring them down hand them a chick track say hi i want to take you through the romans road <laughs> what oh. do you what do you know what happens to you when you die can't wait come back come back wait wait, wait, wait you wait, might wait, not wait. you might not realize this but something you're probably doing is witchcraft you know that Ouija board you're carrying with you? Did you know that the devil lives inside of it? Oh, you don't have Can a Ouija? I just have a moment of your time. You don't have a Ouija? Um, do you play D&D? <laughs> no? Shit. Uh, do you listen Iggy Azalea? Do you like Kesha? Okay. We found it. There's our in. That, or the devil's in, that dollar, I guess I should say. That dollar sign in her name stands for Satan. Can I tell you guys something? This yeah. is the truth. Yeah. When I was t uh, a young child... I saw uh, David Copperfield on TV performing his uh, illusion of flight. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps one of you could Wikipedia that to find out the exact year and the name of that special because it was something amazing. But I watched his illusion of flight. And in my young mind, as a, as a young boy, I entertained, seriously entertained, for the span of a few days afterwards that David Copperfield may, maybe, maybe an angel. I thought, <laughs> wait, now don't laugh. No, I'm I going to, fuck you. <laughs> no, I thought that David Copperfield, in his special, his flight 1990, illusion, 1992. Perfect, 12, that's exactly where I thought I was. I, I, and what was the name of that special? Do you do you have that on hand? Uh, the Magic of David Copperfield 14, flying hyphen live the dream. Calm the fuck down, David <laughs> Good Copperfield. Name Davy. So I was so stumped by how he did this trick. Mm -hmm. I entertained that he was an angel who has was on Earth to re convince the people 
that miracles can happen. I thought that David Copperfield was perhaps an angel. And that was the best explanation. Can I just say, like, it being the 90s, I'm amazed that that wasn't, like, a movie or a TV special or something where it's like, you know who's popular right now? That David Copperfield. People love the angels and stuff. So let's make it where he's really doing magic and solving crimes. That was was actually the finale of The Secrets of Magic Revealed. The, The masked magician who's, like, putting everybody on blast. Like, and here's the secret behind David Copperfield. He's a fucking angel, guys. Like I, I fucking, I've looked at that shit through every angle, and this guy's a motherfucking angel. I have no idea. Why can't we see his halo? That's the great magic trick. He made that shit disappear. He must have linked it with another ring and then pulled it off his fucking head. It's he actually halo. had to set. He had to give up his halo when he revealed his abilities to Earth people. Is that how it works? In my fan fiction. <laughs> This is from the delivery man, Seth Carlson, again. Thank you, Seth. It's Yahoo Answers user, the DS guy, who asks, is a jelly donut a donut? <laughs> now, listen. Y'all, y'all, you think you know where listen. this question... <laughs> you think you know where this question is going. I mentioned the donut man to my Sunday school teacher. So he played his guitar and sang a song. Life without Jesus is like a donut because there's a hole in the middle of your heart. Everyone loves this jam. You guys know that one, right? I said, what about donuts without holes? He played and sang the same song, but with different lyrics. A donut without a hole is not a donut. So I said, what about a jelly donut? He sang the same song with the lyrics, a jelly donut is not a donut. So is he right? Is a jelly donut not a donut? Is a donut without a hole not a donut? Is a life without Jesus like a donut? Is there a hole in the middle of your heart? Jesus wants to fill that hole. My my favorite mental picture of this is the progression of the Sunday school teacher's face plays the first song. But what about a donut without a donut hole? Well, that's ridiculous. Okay, second song. And then third, what about a jelly donut? Jelly donut is not a donut. The, this Sunday school teacher looked in the mirror that morning before class and said to himself, I am out of things I know about Jesus. <laughs> I have a Sunday school class today, and I've taught them all the cool things that I learned about Jesus. All his wanderings and his ways, I have taught them all. I should try to vamp. I hope someone asks a question that allows me to vamp off of it. But here's the thing. If you tell a six-year-old that life without Jesus is like a donut, how is that six-year-old not like sweet? Awesome. Yeah. (laughs) Fucking sick, bro. I love donuts. Donuts are awesome. If I remember correctly, this song is literally like, it's good for a little while, but then like, no. Then you hit the center where there's no more donut. That's not how donuts work. I've never eaten a donut and be like, ah, ah. Hey, where'd it go? What the hell? Why did you do this to me, Jesus? Uh, There's no donut in the middle of the donut. I, do you think that anybody tried to tell that cat, like, I know you think you have something with this track, but <laughs> that sounds pretty rad. I don't think we necessarily want to compare these two things. Also, long johns are donuts. They don't have holes. Is a Danish a donut? No, it's a Danish, stupid. <laughs> now, wait. Okay. Is a jelly donut just a Danish? Jelly donut's just a closed-over Danish that hasn't been circumcised. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, think about it. I'd rather not. No, I get it. You brisked that jelly donut, now we're working Danish territory. Just we're in Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on. 